Glad to see you made it back in from the cold. The drug lord's secret airstrip is located in this jungle sector. Reclaim the stolen F-117 stealth fighter from the airstrip and blow away their operations. The stealth has an automatic propulsion with nuclear generator. With a nuclear generator, so there's no need to refuel. It's also equipped with unlimited ammo reloads. Once in command of the stealth, the enemy alert zones will stop tracking you. Then proceed to blast the drug lord's growing fields. Our agents have spotted a group of stolen Patriot missile launchers in the area as well. We also believe that the madman has set up missile assembly operation somewhere in the jungle find it and destroy it mission seven river raid now my pedigree chums this mission was actually quite infamous um when this game came out if i remember correctly a lot of people were indeed talking about the awesomeness of this mission because you get the stealth fighter uh the stealth as it said in that intro briefing there has unlimited uh ammunition and fuel cool right well yes uh hmm. enemy stealth fighter plane find the secret air strip and clear the area of enemies, expose the stealth and take control of it. The stealth has unlimited fuel and ammo loads. Yeah, well, you see, there is a problem with the stealth. Um, oh great, that's bloody wonderful that. Uh, and that is, quite simply put, if you, cra um, if you crash into anything, it's game over, man. You're toast. And... It's a pig to control. It really is. Luckily, I guess the game designers were expecting you to have some trouble with this mission because, well, look at that. I spy with my little eye for delicious extra lives. So this mission is going to be easy, right? We're going to have infinite ammo, unlimited weapons of mass destruction, and... Uh, Seven lives. Well, no. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, it's not the enemies that are going to pose a threat. Uh, the enemies are rather trivial, um, as is basically everything when you get into the stealth fighter. Um, what is going to kick our arse rather handedly is crashing into things, because like I said, um, it's a very difficult animal to control it doesn't control anything anything like the uh, Comanche um, it, you can go low down to the ground which means your weapons actually hit stuff uh, but you will crash into everything or you can climb to a decent height in which case uh, your weapons don't really hit anything unless you get very lucky uh, but you can avoid most obstacles Ooh, Christ. but yeah you can see how powerful this thing is in theory I mean you really want the uh, the weapons going all the time um, if you're lucky you can um, destroy things before you run into them obviously the only problem is uh the explosion animations do take a little while uh, uh, but you know this thing is a lot of fun it it is fun to be in the stealth bomber i just wish it wasn't so um explodey anyway troop bridges enemy troop bridges take out six of them that'll stop the enemy tanks from reaching your comanche at the secret airstrip Yes, well, I mean, if you say so, boss. So what weapons do we have? We've got a machine gun, which is pretty nice uh, on this thing. We also have um, AIM-292. Uh, are they sidewinders? Are they sidewinders? Does this thing have sidewinders? That uh, sidewinder is a... Uh, short range air to air missile not really sure why um i'm hoping i'm remembering that wrong because that would be a little bit silly otherwise but hey and we also have iron bombs i don't know what iron bombs are but they are hellfires and they do silly amounts of damage which is good um we like weapons that do silly amounts of damage and of course you have unlimited of everything so there's there's no 
point really in using the machine guns, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't even know why this thing has machine guns, because you have unlimited freaking rockets, so go figure. Um, so nothing really is a challenge. Uh, none of the enemies are even going to bother us. We are going to have to go a little bit low to the ground here, I think. Oh, I didn't quite get that marked out right. Uh, it, the impact, input lag as well in turning this thing around is extreme. It's really hard to fly. Have I s mentioned how hard this thing is to fly and control? Now, you can do this in the Apache. Uh, in the Comanche, sorry. You can. Um, it, it is possible. It's just... It's fairly difficult because uh, there's a lot of enemy equipment on this level. Uh, if we check out Sheridans, there's lots of Sheridans. Now, Sheridans aren't that dangerous, really. I mean, especially coming off the back of uh, the um, M1s that we had in the previous mission. Uh, but there's a lot of them. Uh, twin guns are the same as Gatling guns, really. Um... Double barrels of rapid fire death. Count yourself lucky. It can't follow you around. Yeah, there's not really anything to worry about, to be honest. But look at the fuel and ammo. There's one reload of each, and there's one armor there. I mean, obviously, there is more scattered around, but there isn't lots on this level because they expect you pretty much to do it in the stealth, which, you know, it's kind of fair. I mean... There is a lot of lives. Seven lives is a lot. But when you can crash into everything, you'll find those lives dwindling away fairly quickly. Uh, we are going to destroy all of these bridges. Because, again, we're not going to leave the job half done now, are we? Um, generally, when I play this mission, I do just like to get it over with. Because the longer I'm flying around the more chance I have of crashing into something. As I said, you crash into anything, anything at all, just tap something, you're dead. Uh, and you don't respawn uh, where you are either. You actually respawn back at the airport, which... Ooh. Oh, there we go. We just clipped that tower there. Literally just clipped it, and you can see what happens. It's, it's not fun. Um, I don't know why they made that so savage, but hey, I mean, I didn't make this game, man. So, anyway, so we've done the bridges in. That one is in process of blowing up. Now we have the drug fields. Crops and greenhouses. Burn the drug lords' growing fields and greenhouses. Eradicate this harvest of death. Harvest of death? I mean, it depends what it is. Ooh, it depends what it is. Uh, I mean, if it's cannabis. Oh, God. Oof. I mean, I've dabbled in that stuff when I was in college. Uh, I smoked copious amounts of the stuff back in the day. Um, don't really think it's uh, a plant of death. And that fella in the tower blew himself up. Bless him. They do that. However, if it's something a little bit more extreme, then that's fair enough. It doesn't look like cannabis, to be fair. Ooh, okay, right. There we go. But considering it belongs to the drug lord, we're going to burn it all anyway. Burn it all. Right, let's keep going. Well, I guess I didn't expect a, a F-117 Nighthawk to just show up. You know, interestingly enough, like Nighthawks generally only have two laser-guided bombs. Um, don't know how this one is so well equipped. But, you know, Strike Corps seems to have uh, a way of finding crazy OP hardware. Um, so, go figure. Yeah, you got nothing on this thing, mate. Unless you've got, like, I don't know, uh, <laughs> some kind of balloon for me to fly into, you're not going to get very far, my friend. Now, of course, having um, things to crash into, uh, being this thing's biggest and only real weakness, to be honest. Um, as the missions go on, we will find more and more things to crash into uh, cropping up. Which is really annoying. But, again, you know, we have plenty of lives. It, it's not like this level stingy. As long as you know where those secret lives are, 
Um, you've got a very, very, very good chance of getting through this mission. It is not as hard as the last mission. The last mission, oof, if you don't know what you're doing, boy howdy, you're going to have a bad time. There we go. These iron bombs as well. These iron bombs, though. Mission complete. Are you sure about that? He's still got greenhouses here. Which means he still has uh, product. And if he still has product, he still has money coming in. We don't want the drug lord having money coming in. <laughs> After all, this drug lord is a pretty nasty bastard, to be honest. Let's be fair. I want to deprive him. But aren't we putting loads of, like, people out of work here? I mean, they're probably not very nice. Well, you say they're probably not very nice people. They, they don't know any other life, do they? Really? Twin gun. Ugh. Turn this brick round. Oh, also, this thing does have a lot of armor as well. Drug fields have gone. So, Patriots. Stolen Patriot missile launchers. These are kind of a pain to hit. Hunt down and destroy the six Patriot missile launchers. This vulnerable, uh, this valuable technology must be taken away from the madman before it is used against our forces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we're not going to let that happen. Oh, hey, friend. Talking about uh, these poor innocent people. He's dead now. His name was Jim. He had a family. Maybe. But it's okay, because it was a family of terrorists. Now, see these Patriot missiles? Yes, you can crash into those. Because of course you can. And they're also... Oh, I mean, like that. I thought I was as high as I could go. Uh, apparently not. <sighs> right, what are we down to? Five lives. <laughs> That's not great, <laughs> to be honest. But okay. Uh, I was expecting to lose a lot of lives on this level. Just as I said, because it so hard to not crash into stuff. Uh, well, I mean, that's fine. In fact, I don't know if... Right, that's what we want to do. We want to get into kind of like a holding pattern and then just circle strafe this thing. Wow. Oh, this is not exactly circle strafing, but you know what I mean. There we go. Just use the turning circle. It sucks, <laughs> but it's the best way of doing it without, you know, risking crashing into this thing. There we go. And it, it doesn't take too long to destroy them in all fairness. But yes, the stealth. I mm, was not the biggest fan of this thing, as I said. All right. Kind of want to take that out as well. Ooh. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, yep. The the input lag delay on turning this thing around is so balls as well. Okay, that's actually hitting. I just need to get yourself into an angle where some of your missiles are hitting. I think they're missing. They're they're hitting. Nah, I'm not sure. Uh nope. I don't think that's actually hitting. That's hitting, although only one missile per pass. There we go. She's gone. She's gone. Yep. And I really wanted to destroy that as well because that's an annoying um, bit of stonework. It's very fancy, very nice, of course, but uh, don't really like it being at the edge of the runway there for obvious reasons. Oh, God, this thing's a turd. Oh, look at that. See? I didn't... Ooh... I didn't want oh, to turn it all the way around and keep going there. So hard to turn this thing precisely. All right, that'll do. Now let's try and get into some kind of holding pattern with this thing. That looks kind of good. Yeah, that's hitting. That's hitting. Oof. Yeah, so not a very well thought out vehicle. I mean, I get it had to have some kind of caveat to it, otherwise it would just be too OP, but I honestly think what they did with it just made it annoying to use. This thing should have been loads of fun to use, but they done fucked it up, really. Not sure what happens, actually, if we go off the edge. 
um, of the map. Oh, nothing, apparently. Okay, that's actually quite nice, to be honest. Right, let's turn around for another attack run. Come on. Uh, we're going to miss it. Um, so, you know, it, I like the fact they experimented with vehicles in this game, but... it. Oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I just really miss my Comanche in this mission. And to be honest, we are going to switch back to the Comanche before the final mission's over, just because we're going to get as much use out of this bad boy as we can. God, I must feel pretty sick after flying this thing around. Uh, now... What did they give you in Soviet? In Soviet Strike, we had a vehicle that made sense. Uh, we had a, uh, a jet that made sense. Of course, we had the Harrier, the Sea Harrier. And that made sense because it could stay with the control scheme, um, you know, of the game. And it didn't feel alien. And you could have a badass, powerful aircraft that was different to the helicopter, totally different um, but it still made sense to the game, I, I think this is just strange I mean I get it, they wanted to mix it up uh, and they did they totally mix it up, this thing doesn't feel remotely like anything um, that we've had before in the Strike series, I mean you know you can rule out Desert Strike you can rule out Desert Strike because obviously with that game we only had the Apache. Whereas they... Oh, Jesus Christ. This game, they really did try and mix it up. And was adding a variety of mission uh, vehicles the right way to do it? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think, I, I think it added a nice little something. Now we have to destroy these fuel tanks. And would you, Adam and Eve, that they are huge and tall and they will blow us to hell if we're not careful, because of course they will. You know, it, all fuel drums have been destroyed. That's kind of a pain, actually, but hey, we can only do what we can do, right? Ooh, uh, didn't actually track. Right, we need to be very careful flying through this bit because. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, that worked, but as you can see, like, we're firing, but our shots are pretty much just going um, <laughs> around the uh, fuel barrels, which is really annoying. And that happens a lot with these particular things. We are actually hitting it a little bit with our machine gun, at least on every other pass. So... Ugh. And what makes things worse is you can't really use iron bombs or anything. You can't really strafe either. It's because of the perspective. By the time you've seen that you're going to collide with something, generally it's too late. But, um... You know, that's... Oh, I like the way... While Bill's pretty good at locking on to targets. You know, enemies, enemy threats. But he's not very good at, like, locking on to objectives. While Bill... I want Roz back. You don't seem to be as useful as I was led to believe. Oh, oh, that wasn't a bad strafe. Wasn't a bad strafe at all. Okay. Maybe I'll take some of what I said back. Oh, God. God. Oh, damn it all. And when the weapons start flying as well, the game starts lagging up. Which isn't an emulator problem. Um, that is how it is on the actual hardware as well. Okay. Not bad. Now, once we've actually destroyed these, I believe we can no longer crash into them. Maybe we can crash into them when we're really low. 
but I think we should be able to fly over them most of the time. Uh, all right. Ooh. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Time it right. No. You're just not timing it right at all. Okay, that actually hits. Come on, baby. Yes, there we go. So, we've got another Sherman down here somewhere. Or oh, Sheridan. <laughs> Even these guys wouldn't be using Shermans. Well, would they? Alright, this isn't a bad little attack pattern here. Oh, that worked. Uh, now, one annoying thing as well about these fuel drums is I think you actually have to destroy them all. Um, maybe we're allowed to leave one. But, pretty sure we've got to destroy them all. Right, now let's come down here. Oh, that was a good shot. Come on. Come on, last one. Come on. See, if, if we had Roz, Roz would have made that shot. I'm pretty confident she would. Wild Bill. Pretty sure your skills have been exaggerated, sir. Oh, come on, man. How did that miss? Well, I mean, this looks a little bit more promising. That's as low down to the ground as we can go. Not sure if that's impacting correctly. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe, I believe, I believe. Hmm. Is that actually hitting? Uh, I'm going to say no. Right, that's as close as I dare get. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Did that hit? And I think we're a little bit too close now. Oh, no, that's definitely going to hit, though. That's definitely hitting. Oh, thank fuck for that. Okay, so anyway, that was Mission 5, Fuel Depot. Destroy the drug lord's fuel dump and bring his army to a standstill. But beware, it's heavily defended. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of heavily defended. Right. Now, on to the final mission here. We actually have uh, that. But believe it or not, all that is is returning the stealth bomber back to base. Um, hmm. So, nuke missiles. Yes. This is an ass because you guessed it. There's loads of stuff to crash into here. And if we get really low on lives, like down to two, this is cool. Boom, boom. There we go. Nighthawk away. Yeah, if we get really low, uh, we will just switch back up to the Comanche. Now, you have to switch back up to the Comanche anyway for this mission um, because... You actually need to uh, pick up the items that are inside. So, bear that in mind. So we can open them all up with this thing. Um, but yeah, we do need to finish this off with the Comanche, which... Okay, there is a very slight auto-aim to that, which is fairly curious, actually. Right, Sheridan. Bridge. Lots of these little rope bridges. Probably regretting building those now. They don't seem to hold... Oh, God, don't want to ram into that. They seem to be uh, not very fireproof, put it that way. Which is fine. We like it when they're not fireproof. Now, you don't have to rescue those scientists. Um, oh, God. Yep, we're down. Nothing we could have done there. Ah, God damn it. Okay, I think there's one left to open up. What have we actually got left? Got lots of Sheridans. Lots of twin guns down here, apparently. Should we go clean them up? Probably a good idea. Let's go clean these. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's actually a radar site. <sighs> we might come back to those, maybe. Those Sheridans, though. 
we should be able to sort them out. Because there's a lot of those, but they're fairly easy target in this thing. As long as we don't do anything really stupid. Right, let's have a look at these Sheridans. Okay. Oh, welcome to the party, pal. Oh, tight turning circle. Oh, God, I'm pulling some G's there, I bet. Pulling some G's eye. All right, who's next? Oh, in your weak armor, sir. Right in the back. We like shooting them in the back. Best place to shoot a tank. Either in the back or from the top, one of the two. Oh, you know, the side works too when you have lots of uh, weapons to dump into it, of course. Right. Sheridan down here. Yeah. That's actually not too bad. You know, when we're coming down head on, um, I think you do get slightly more uh, leeway for some reason, depending on what angle the plane's flying. It feels like it uh, speeds up or slows down. This does seem to be a better perspective. You just seem to be able to see more of the screen. Oh, man. Punished it. Right. Let's see if we can sort out the last of the twin guns. Whew. I mean, we could probably do those in the Comanche. How many lives we've got left? We've got four lives left, that's fine. Um. Oh, God. Well, I mean, we're destroying these big poles, so... That's what she said. I don't really want to destroy these poles. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but there is a radar down there, which is interesting. Right, anyway, I think that's about enough for the stealth. Let's get out of this thing before we kill ourselves. Um, landing it is actually quite hard as well. I never really understood how... Oh, God, no, there is a big pole there. <clears throat> Let's see if we can destroy the pole. Yeah definitely going to make things a little bit easier so we've got nothing on this side now to crash into so i mean to land i think oh god you've just got to like line up with the runway but then um yeah that's actually easier said than done not sure if we actually have to um destroy the hangar on the end either all right let's try going back round there we go and I think you hold up yes so you must have to hold up oh man am I glad to be out of that oh Jesus okay cool uh, let's go down here what's what oh there is a twin gun left curious well let's go destroy the radar because we don't want none of that guy. None of that guy's business. Let's destroy these as well. The absolute bane of our existence. Well, they would have been anyway. Right, where's the twin gun? There. You can get fucked. Right. Destroy as many of these as we can as well. I love the way these go up as well. I don't know if there's anything under these. For some reason... I kind of have an image in my head that there's lives under some of these, or there's some kind of supplies anyway. Um, but, you know. Probably not. Uh, what's our fuel like? Fuel's pretty low. Let's go grab some go juice. Now, I think we've basically wasted everything as well. So, clean sweep. Um, yeah, so I, I'm glad this mission's over. Uh, the next mission I haven't played for a very long time. Uh, I am obviously going to play test it before we dive right in. Uh, the mountains. Uh, I have... I kind of have uh, a little bit of anxiety when I looked at that map the other day. So, 
it's possible that that's also a tough one. But then I've been worried, you know. I, I thought this one was quite a tough mission. Um, and it is, kind of. But uh, this game actually hasn't been that bad. I was expecting uh, a lot more resistance, should we say. There is no uh, quick ladder, I don't think, on this mission. And I guess we might as well pick these guys up just because, I suppose. Yeah, we can only hold two more of them anyway. But that's fine. We might pick more up, I guess. Uh, right. Ooh, there's actually two more here. So it kind of makes it feel a little bit pointless that we went through all that pain to destroy, um, well, to recover the nuclear reactors, I should say. When, well, I mean, that was kind of pointless, wasn't it? Because he's got loads of nuclear reactors and parts. We obviously didn't find them all. Also, where are all these uh, cases of plutonium and nuclear reactors actually going? Um, because if they're going inside our helicopter... Well, let's just hope we don't get shot down by anything, because we're going to have a bad time. I'm hoping we're not getting lethal doses of radiation. Um, right, landing zone is there. I might as well drop this guy off. I'll drop these guys off. And then go back for the last guys. Because why the devil not? And I haven't even started uploading this game yet. Now... Interestingly enough, it looks like this glitches out because, uh, as you can see, you can't see anybody running out, but uh, I can assure you they are actually disembarking. Alright buddy, you're going to get yours. Have a Hellfire. Yes, Hellfire took him into the next world. Yeah, um really did think this game was going to be harder. I uh, I really wanted to do this on my holiday because I was thinking I'm going to be swearing at myself, I'm going to be stressed, I'm going to be getting really annoyed. There's levels that I know are going to be a complete and utter pain in the penis. But, um, no, actually. And that's that mission completed. We only actually lost two or three lives. I can't remember. Um, so even if we didn't pick up these secret lives here, we would have been fine. Just. But uh, that is a bit of a gamble, to be honest. I think you're better off just grabbing those lives. Anyway, guys. That's, uh, that's Desert Strike. That's one of the easier missions, actually. But I do remember it being a challenge. I guess my brain is old. Right, let's save. A years. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.